So you've seen the movie, and maybe you've read the comics, but do you know the real ancient history of the Ant-Men? Forget the pithy anti-heroes or the miniaturizing suits. The real Ant-Man of antiquity? They were loyal to Achilles, his personal army, and they fought with such amazing strength, endurance, and <laughs> indomitability that they were said to have been de descended from both the ants and the gods. There are at least two myths at work here that come from ancient Greek history. The first is yet another story of Zeus's infidelity to his poor, long-suffering wife. And he turns himself into a Myrmex, that's Greek for ant. And in ant form, he seduces Eurymedusa, and they have a son together, and his name was Myrmidon. The other myth is passed down to us through Ovid in his Metamorphoses. In his dream, King Echos dreams of the Myrmex, an ant's nest, that is turned into men who are full of strength, endurance, and tenacity. They are the perfect inhabitants. They are the perfect soldiers. Indeed, the next time we hear of the Myrmidons, the Ant-Men of Achilles, is in the Trojan War, where in Homer's Iliad, they are the indomitable fighting force. They cannot be beaten until they lose their commander, Achilles. Now, the Myrmidon in the myths of Ovid and Homer are myth. Now, the Myrmidons were mythological. If they had existed, if they had fought with Achilles, if they had fought in a Trojan War, which we're not sure actually took place, they would have much preceded any evidence that we have of professional, well-trained armies of the type that the Myrmidon were supposed to be. Instead, the earliest example of this type of military strategy were the Spartans, who fought like the Myrmidons with such strength, endurance, and a hive mindset protecting each other that they went down in history as indomitable. They were famous for the Phalanx, a group of soldiers that fought so closely together, a shield in their left hand, a hoplite in their right, which is a long spear with which they fought, that they became a wall of force that was unstoppable. They, in fact, provided the pattern of battle strategy to the Romans, who were even more famous for it later on. Now, one thing that the ancient history and Hollywood get just a little bit wrong, ants are mostly female. Males that exist in the colony live for a very short time and only exist to serve the queen. We can excuse the ancient Greeks for not understanding ant gender, but Hollywood? It's a marvel, you don't know better. I hope all you superheroes out there liked this. Thanks for watching and catch us again on History Etc.